final sign off um, after 22 years of serving the citizens of the state of Washington um, being asked to leave because I am dirty. Thank you for your 22 years of silence and service to the citizens of Washington State. You've taken on many roles in your time with the patrol. In your first year, you delivered a baby while on patrol in Bremerton. You've been a great role model and mentor for all young troopers serving in the area by sharing your knowledge and experience throughout the years. Thank you for your service. State 1034, this is the last time you'll hear me in a state patrol car. And Jay Ansley can kiss my ass. I swore an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States, to protect the freedom of the people who pay my salary. I do not work for my governor, but for them. The governor elected to this beautiful state has ordered I have personal and religious reasons as to why I will not take I'll likely get fired over this video, but I'm nonetheless exercising my First Amendment right to speak freely. I Hundreds of city workers are outraged and gathered to protest outside of the mayor's residence. Some of them even threw garbage onto the mayor's lawn. <laughs> garbage isn't only piling up on the mayor's lawn, it's everywhere. Sanitation workers across the city had a slowdown on Thursday. Residents have taken to social media to complain about what appears to be an act of protest by sanitation workers against. New York City men, my garbage wasn't picked up today and will get worse when New York City sanitation workers don't show up for pickups and snow plowing. Medical staff shortages, burning fires not put out. City will be crippled. If we don't have employed DSNY workers, we will have outbreaks of disease like cholera in New York City. The mandate needs to be relaxed to prevent mounds of garbage on our streets. If your garbage hasn't been picked up, thank the New York City. Anyone who is not doing their job, you are harming your fellow sanitation workers, and you're harming your neighbors, and you're harming your city, and it's time to stop. Moving to snow shifts, 12 hours instead of 8, in anticipation of worker shortages. And New York City could soon be losing 1 in 5, that's 20% of its fire departments due to firefighters not getting... Mayor to turn around and say we can run this department with 25 to 35% less members is ignoring the fact that we can't even keep firehouses open today. 1034, this is the last time you'll hear me in a state patrol car. And Jay Ansley can kiss my ass. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, sincere shalom to your other elders, you Akim, your brethren, you followers of the truth, your fellow laborers, and let me say shalom, you families, and let me say shalom to the elect. Anyway, I want to go on this short video that I, I wasn't going to do, but in the midst of another video, this kept popping up. So I said, well, you know, you go where the spirit leads you. Um, this is going into this thing that's happening now and the loss of jobs. Um, I think they're saying New York. Um, they're not picking up the trash and everybody know what all this is about. So it's not hard to figure out. Um, so this is what you see is... Um, coming prophecy and um i basically just had a couple scriptures and i'll close it because the nature of this video so this is ecclesiastes 12 and 3 in a day when the keepers of the house shall tremble right um and the strong men shall bow themselves and a grinder cease because they are few meaning um, few means some but not a lot right and uh the um these are the politicians, even the heads of your homes, um, foreclosures, even even in residential and commercial, right? So there's, there's a lot that'll be happening, okay, um, soon to come. Um, it's not, you know, no getting around that. It says, um, and the strong men shall bow themselves, <clears throat> and the grind is cease because they are few. Um, you have these politicians, as you see, de Blasio and all. They all pretty much on cue on how things are to go, if you know what I mean. It's all set, but in other words. They're just trying to push the ideology of what needs to be done, okay? And they're just there, you know, just like the president. He's there. Um, goes on to say... Um, 
and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out the windows will be darkened. Okay, when you look out the window, see your nice car there, and see it ain't there no more because it it done got repoed. You know, you you don't know if you're gonna have your home next week because of foreclosures, and you look out. You know, if you're a person who like to work, and then you have no income, no source of income, and everything goes to hell, you're going to be depressed. This is also Matthew 10 and 35, where the Lord said he's going to split the families, turn mother against father, father against mother, ultimately because of the truth. So you better have your Hawabashim Yahweh okay, in your, in, your, in your side, you know, on your right-hand side, you know. Um, the doors shall be shut in the streets, when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up against the voice of the bird, right? And the daughters of music shall be brought low. And when I looked that up, that's going into all kinds of songs. The, the, the uh, messed up music you hear, religious music, okay? You know, a lot of people who in their so-called religion, the, I mean, as far as these religious songs, okay? And the voice of the bird, Okay, you know, when you get up, you're not going to hear the grinding, the street workers, the the mail truck, the UPS truck, the fire truck, you know, the quietness. You, you just hear the voice of the bird. Okay, um, also when they shall be afraid of that which is high and fierce shall be in the way, right? And the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, right? And desire shall fail, right? The desire shall fail, because man goeth to his long home, and the mourners go out about in the streets. Okay, this is a total breakdown of what's uh, to come, right? Let's go to Isaiah. I'm just making this quick. Isaiah 14, 11. The pomp of, the, it says, the pomp is brought down to the grave right um, and the noise of thy vials the worm is spread under thee and the worms cover thee right meaning a total breakdown in the infrastructure okay the streets um, and the, the system in itself a total breakdown because remember the lack of jobs um, this trash right <laughs> that's why I put that there that's a form of it, a start of it. When you can't pick up the trash, what's going to happen? Disease, trash, more rats. Are they going to, this is going to be their world, right? So we can see this, these things to come. Anyway, uh, I have, don't have much else to say of that, but um, I did look up the word pump, H1347. I just wanted to look that up. It says their exaltation and majesty, their pride, their majesty, exaltation, their excellence. This also brings me back to Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O ye virgin daughter of Babylon. Goes on to say uh, pride of arrogance in a bad sense. So when you see that pomp is brought low, that arrogance and pride will be brought low. And this is why you see you're going to see the top politicians and everybody having arguments. Um, imagine no more police, no more ambulance, no more distributions, you know. And that that's ultimately after the, the um, final prophecy come to place, the MOTB. And then when the uh, total destruction, when Matthew 18 comes, up, comes to play, and then you see that they're going to be looking like, well, this this is where how we made our money, you know. But it was already broken down from within. That's the most high bringing it down from within first. That's what's going to make this so hard for Jake and and this man and his rulers of darkness, man, because it's going to be a slow but quick process. It's going to be breaking down piece by piece <clears throat> to the point it gets out of control, right? And the ones. The top elites understand what's going on, but then when it starts slipping out of their hands, okay, when they try to reach their enterprise, as Job the 20th chapter say, when they're about to fill their belly, then the fury 
is going to rain down upon them. Anyway, that's all I have on that. Shalom.